All right, so cut my tube. 18.5 inches. I'm going to run it at a 45 degree angle. And the way I did that, that's a 45, but I'm taking it off this. So I took that as my zero point, and that's my 45, right? To this. So I'm going to notch a 45, notch a 45, and then we'll make another one like that, just for the bottom that'll bolt straight through to subframe. Yeah? Yeah. I think that's a plan. Just gotta remember that when that's notched, it's gonna come up. Yeah? So the bell angle there, it's gonna come up and back. Yeah. We'll go forward, shall we? To the tube, not your Batman. And there it is. And it's already set up, look. For one inch. So, do that. And it's. Go to email. Zero. And we want 45 degrees on the line. Four, five, forty-five, four. What's a couple of bits between friends, eh? Clutch enough for me. Run these in. Let's go right in. It's only just when you're running at such an angle, you can only just fit it. In this machine, I mean that's a, a long one inch as well. It's not so down at the wall, is it, people? So I get some electric first. Yeah. machine eh? but right so we've got 45 on the one end so we'll just double check it with our machine shall we our machine on the job so that's going to sit under there yeah and then all we've got to do is make one for that end and it'll just lift it up off the frame a little bit and that will Fit quite well, if I will say so myself. Yeah? I might even take a touch more out the back just to give me a little bit more downwards angle. Yeah, I will. One bar, yeah. So it's simple, isn't it? Simple. Now I want to work out my angle for this end. So I'm guessing she's going to be different. So if I put that in there like that. Yeah. That's not zero in. So take the bar out. We'll zero this to our subframe. All right. Get off for a second. We'll put the bar back in to where we want it. Oh, I might take a little bit more out of the back of that actually. Just looking at the angle I'm running at. Come on, it's going to be really close. Thank <laughs> you. 
cutting the sides out. You see, even though you cut it on your machine, you got to fix it. Right? That is how I want it to be. So now we bring our thing down. So here we're actually 43 degrees. So we want to go through there at 43 degrees, this angle. So we're gonna to have to come in through the top. Yeah, so I'm gonna mark. Straight down. Yeah. And then transfer to the other side. And that's where we're going to go in from. That way. Agreed? So we want it to come like that, don't we? Something like that. Yeah? Because we're cutting down that way, we've got to go that way. Right, so we know we're already at 45 degrees on a notcher notcher. That's sounding very rough. I know what it is. This is buggered up in here. It's not allowing that to go back up anymore. It's... I really need to take it out and uh, re ream it. What we'll do now then is just set that up in there so we're straight with our lines. Yeah? Might just be able to go over actually. Yeah. I think I have to do a bit of inspecting on that, people. So now, bring you around. I feel like I might be moving you around so much. Let's give this a bit of a lick with the grinder. Yeah? You need a little bit more inch tube. I'm going to feel an area, people. Come on. Can you believe I haven't got a small off cup? Because I always make sure my cuts are right. So you don't get any wastage. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Might be in luck here, boys. Can't get round though, because there's just stuff everywhere. Found one up. We want that there. Get our bar. Bar fits up there, and then it's going to be obviously be a bit longer, yeah. And then that'll be in there. Catch me drift. So that will have the bottom capped, and it'll be bolted straight through the subframe. Welded, welded. So now what I'm going to do is make the bits for the end. Yeah. So how should I do this then, people? I want to do something as elaborate as up here. So she's just literally going to bolt to there. But it doesn't have to be three. It can just be M10, can't it? It can just be M10. So I've got a bit of bar. And what I'll do is I'll cut this in half. And we'll use that, shall we? Or do I want to put it at 45 again? Why do I keep convincing myself it's going to look like that? So if that's there, and that's there, give me a pen. Yeah? If I do a 45 from about here. Cheers. That's about right in the room. Just if I 
45 this. It's just going to look better, isn't it? Do you agree? I agree. So, we shall get your 45 square to your line that you've made. Yeah. And then all you do is just plunge through with your grinder. And say, you can set your saw up to cut 45, by all means. But I just plunge straight through. Help people put a disc on first, so I'm going to put a new disc on now. <clears throat> I mean, I could convert a set of my billet bars to run here, but this is how they were. On the middle boys, so this is how I'm doing it. Right. You shouldn't do stuff like that if you're not an idiot, basically, or you're not very confident with what you're doing. Because that is an easy way of taking your fingers clean up. All right. Oh, back on the old uh... Well, so let's side these up. <clears throat> They're nice and warm, people. Very nice and warm. You don't clean the burrs off, you know that's the burr that's going to cut you deep. There we go, two of them. <clears throat> now, what we need to do block the bottom off. Yeah, so you want something to go on there? Oh, we could put a thread in there. Bolt, no, because the, the bolt falls out, it's not going to work. Oh, I'm just going to have a hunt around so I can find. Right, so what I went down the road with is this. So you saw me chop it. Ta -da. Just tipped around it. And I've already fitted this side. Well, it's not fitted, it's tacked together. See it down there. And I'll just have an M10 in it. And then we we'll fit it up here. We've got the A-frame in. That's not being fully welded yet. I've got to weld that one first because that's the one that goes up to the tube. Just drop it down a bit. Yeah, and then this one copes around that one. But I'm just, just starting on the other side now. So this has got to go here. Yeah, I've made the one for there. And I've just been playing with the big one for here. And then I'm going to make the other one for there. I'll make that one down here now. Well, once I've finished running around with that one. And then, once that one's done, really this can get welded then. Because I didn't want to start welding this until this was in because i didn't want it to pull anyway but this is a bit like of a supporting leg now for it so it wouldn't move and then i'm going to start i'm going to come from here to here i just need to work out where and upon what angle yeah right then boys and girls what we've got now is that's welded this is fully welded at the top, it's just tacked on. So what we can do now is if we strip it down, we should be able to try a shocking, which we took the spring off. 
Yeah? Badass. Oh, look at that. The only thing we have to do is we'll have some of the M10 in the bottom of the shock. Because I've got to open these up. Right then, I jumped on the lathe and modified the bottom bushes. So we can actually use my hardware that I know fits. That's in there. This goes in there. She's a bit tight, boys. Come on, boys and girls, look. we've got a shock on. He's moving. Perfect look. That is nice and straight. It's not kinking off. Don't blow me, cocker. I've been in here for days straight. The machining works just do me, you know. Right, well, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.